everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be doing a set of nails and i'm also going to be showing you these new chrome gel paints from madam glam though i think i've done something wrong i don't know anyway look i'm going to show you them so there is a rose chrome i'm going to stir them and i, I wonder if this is where i went wrong but it looks silver on the top and i need to i need to look now it looks gold rose gold right and then i'm gonna do the gold one so this is the look, gold chrome there's already a silver chrome by the way um which was yeah anyway this is the gold one i really like the gold one and then look those are those together so you can see the difference and then this is a vintage chrome vintage yeah so it's like a it's almost like a tarnished silver it's got a slight gold to it but it's definitely silver it's yeah i don't know what you call it yeah it's definitely it looks a bit like tarnished silver anyway i'm going to apply two coats of each of these to a swatch now when i put them on look they look metallic but i don't think they look like chrome and i wonder if it's because i stirred them am i supposed to let them settle before i use them i don't know i feel like i've done something wrong but that's i love it anyway look at that color it's gorgeous ah, this is the gold one i also really 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 like this one it's very nice I'm going to use this one in today's set actually and you can save 30 percent off madam glam products using my code natmug30 though if something is on sale or if they're having a sale then the code won't work it's a bit annoying um for me but not for you because i'm sure whatever it, if there's a sale on you'll get a discount anyway so that's always a good thing bargain okay so this is the this is the vintage one can you see what i mean it's got a little bit of a gold hint to it but it's definitely silver it's like a like a tarnished silver you know you know what i mean ari um i've top coated them and this is them done do you see what i mean they're not chromey but they look metallic i'm i think i've done something wrong i'm gonna have to work on this anyway let's move on to the design i'm gonna use food coma which is a nice nude nude i'm gonna apply two coats of this to each nail i'm gonna show you me doing this first coat because if if my gel polish is decide to blob up at the bottom which is what happened today i'm going to show you what i like to do just to i don't know what the word is look there's a bit of stuff in there and then this bit here i'm just going to use my detailer brush just to spread out the blob of gel polish that was at the bottom and there we go now it's made it nice and even um, i'm going to apply a second coat i'm going to do this to all the nails though you're just going to see me doing it to one but i do end up doing it to all of them these are the decals oh look at these decals aren't they just the cutest decals these are the floral guitars these are water decals from nail sugar you can save 10 percent on these using my code natmug10 you have to pick the ones that you just that you want to use in today's set i'm going to use two of these ones here that i'm cutting out i'm going to remove the excess from around the decal as well because we don't want that on the nail it's pointless and i will plop it upside down on a stamper and then you're going to need some water obviously and i just use an old brush that i've got i will dip that into my water and then damp the back of the decal don't make it like sopping wet but you're going to want to make it wet that sounded anyway yeah once for a few seconds after several seconds the back will just slide off and then you can i just dab it with my finger to get off any excess water and then i will just stamp it onto the nail where i want it and look instant nail art Ta -da! i just love them and there's so many different decals on nail sugar's website that you will be sport for choice so we've done that on two nails again look i've used the same decal i've just they're just going in different directions if you see uh what am i doing here all right yeah so two nails i wanted to make french nails so i am adding the you can do this with the white gel paint but i'm going to do it with the white gel polish i'm just like drawing on my free edge to the nail this is more of a deep french than a normal french i quite prefer deep french like it just do, do, you know it's more curved than a normal french i'd say would be more shallow whereas a deep french would be more curved am i making sense i hope you know what i mean uh, and i'm just going to fill in the free edge bit with the white and I, 
you I mean you can do two coats I just left it at one I feel like one coat done the job quite nicely Madame Glam's white is pretty good see I think that's I don't I don't think that's bad I quite think that's good I'm gonna do the same on this one so we're gonna have two Frenches then I'm going to velvet matte top coat all five of the nails and then we can start adding our other details which are gonna add texture to the nails so if your client doesn't like texture, then this set probably won't be for them. <laughs> this is them matted. I've got here, Live Colourfully. This is a gorgeous orange. I've not used it yet. I don't often use orange because it's not my favourite colour. But yeah, so this is, you know, for me, this is a rarity. So enjoy if you're an orange lover. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a curve of orange, sort of starting kind of one side but not all the way over to the side wall and then I'm going to curve it round down the side of the nail and then I'm going to do the same on the bottom but going in the other direction like this and I'm going to curve it like going up the nail so that it looks like we've got the start of a kind of spiral thing going on but not really and then I'm going to top no I'm not going to top coat what I'm about I'm going to sugar it with acrylic powder and it's going to make it look embossed and matte finished and after i'd done this i was i was kicking myself because i wish i'd done this with nail sugar's angel dust because that's got like an orange shimmer to it and i think that would have looked blooming gorgeous but there we go this is what it looks like with clear acrylic pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds then i'm going to do the same on this one but i'm going to do it in the opposite direction so can you see what i've done yes then you're going to need a fluffy brush to brush off the excess acrylic like the loose acrylic powder that's on the nail. I do that on both of them. We haven't finished with these nails yet, we will come back to them, but we want to add some more orange to the uh, to the set. So we're gonna go on to the French nails now, and we're just gonna do a line of orange above the small line of the French nails. I think that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. You know what I mean anyway. <laughs> I feel like I have spent half my time saying, do you know what I mean? Or do I make sense? So we're going to sprinkle this again with the acrylic. But if you've got angel dust, oh, please use angel dust. I bet it would look amazing. Oh, I'd love to see it with angel dust. If you're in my group and you use this orange with angel dust, please show me in the group. Oh, I'd love to see it. Right, that's going to go in the lamp. And we're going to do the same on the other one. So this is me, again, dusting off the loose acrylic powder. And just to add some more texture, this is the white gel paint. I'm going to add like a kind of like a bit of a border. So we're going to follow the outside of the orange like curve that we done initially. And we're going to, yeah, use the, the white gel paint at the top and the bottom. And this, these gel paints, you don't have to top coat. They do cure without a tacky layer. So you can use these on top of a finished nail. So these will look shiny as well. They'll cure shiny. So we're going to have the, the matte nails with the matte embossed orange like curves with the white shiny gel paint. So far, we're going to add something else. <laughs> I'm going to do the same to this one. That will have a 60 second cure. And then with the gold chrome, I'm going to add some dots going in the opposite direction of the orange curve. See what I'm doing? Like that. Like that. So they'll get smaller as they go towards the outside of the nail. I'm going to do the same on this nail. You don't, I mean, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I don't, I don't even know where I came up with this. It was just, I just thought it would, I don't know, just random, you know. Ari. I quite like it though. It looks like a kind of an extreme border for the D. I don't know. I don't know what the. No, shut up, that's right. These French nails, we're going to do the dots underneath the orange this time. So it's it kind of goes on the white. But don't worry, it's fine if it does. Pop those in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then just to finish off the set, I thought we'd add some crystals, because why not? These are Preciosa Sun crystals. I'm just going to move my light so you can see, because oh, it just looks so nice. <gasps> Look at those. Oh, I love them. So I thought that's like the closest orange match that I had. 
and then these ones i've got here are called starlight gold they're like a dark champagne um i think i don't know if they were the closest gold i had but at the time they look they look quite dark in the cam on the camera and then just to kind of separate up the two colors i thought i would use some clear crystals as well so these crystals are all available from crystal parade along with the rachel wilder's crystal fix you can save 10 percent using my code natmug10 and then oh yeah swarovski fire opal flame crystals i am so upset i can't get these anymore because these the flame shapes are one of my favorites that they just don't make i, I just yeah <laughs> i love them so much and i miss them so that's going to go on like the center is it the center of the nail i can't see then i'm going to add a starlight gold crystal above it and i'm just flash curing these as i go then using the gem glue, the crystal fix, sorry, I'm going to just create some, we're going to do like the classic necklace shape. I feel like I do this one all the time. I really need to mix it up a little bit, but we're going to, into that uncured gem glue, I'm just going to add some crystals. So I've gone for clear. Then I'm going to add the orange. And as we go up towards the, I'm going to say the shoulders up towards the you know the shoulders but i don't know there's not shoulders um the crystals are going to get slightly smaller so they're going to taper off i'm going in with a gold one now and then lastly i will add a small clear crystal and then i'm going to add some caviar beads but i do that off camera because i'm having like i'm struggling to get my camera to focus so i thought just do it off camera and it would look something like this with the caviar beads in i'm going to cure that and then just to finish off i'm going to add some velvet matte top coat to the bottom of one of my crystal trays and all i'm going to do is because the gem glue cures shiny where there's any like you can't you're not going to, be able to see this very well either because look it's, um, it's gonna have focus but anyway you just go around the very outside edge of the crystals and it just covers up that shiny gem glue what am i doing Oh yeah, and then you just want to finish off by going over the top of the crystals with some isopropyl alcohol in it. And it just helps them, just brightens them up. Because sometimes you're left with wax residue and stuff. But there we go. Or fingerprints or whatnot. That's them finished. I really like these. I'm going to show you a close-up. Here they are. Oh my gosh. I think this is probably one of my favourite sets. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. You can also become a channel member. The link to become a channel member I will leave down below in the description box along with websites and discount codes. But God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.